This is Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today this will be like a vitamin or a supplement for your heart and mind. And wherever you receive podcasts from, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom? Leave a rating and a brief written review. It will enable others to be able to locate this podcast. I also want to remind you that I'm looking for the next level leaders that I can come alongside and help. And I would love to see if there's any possibilities of me coming alongside and coaching you. All you have to do is get on my calendar and I will give you a call and we'll see what the possibilities are. Just go to drronblake.com forward slash call, drronblake forward slash call. You'll get on my calendar. I, yes, I will call you. And we'll see if there's a possibility of us working together. I want to talk today a little bit about goal setting basics, sort of a goal setting 101 or goal setting a boot camp, if you will. You know, time can be your ally or your enemy. And I'm not talking about time. I'm talking about the way that we use our time. What it becomes, what our lives become rests entirely on what we decide to do today. Your goals and your determination to move yourself forward. Now, it may seem um, obviously a little contradictory, but Stephen Covey, one time I heard him say, stop setting goals. Goals are pure fantasy unless you have a specific plan to achieve them. There was a time early in my uh, journey of life that I would just set goals. And I heard the, the people saying that if you have goals and you write them down, you are a very small minority of people in the world who have a goal or have goals and write them down. So I would write them down. This was even pre-laptop and smartphone. I, I used a legal pad and a pen or a pencil, and I would dutifully write them out. I'd write them out for every area of my life. I'd stick them in a drawer after that exercise, and I would go along my merry way. What I failed to understand back there is, as important as it is and as necessary as it is to have goals and to write them down, they will become almost obsolete and certainly meaningless unless you develop a plan. How am I going to get from where I am today to where I need to be? Now, today I would say to you, uh, most people have some kind of a goal, something they're trying to work on. Uh, they're wanting to get out of debt. They're wanting to save for retirement. They want to put their children through college. Um, they want to be a better dad, a better mom, a better spouse, a better friend. They'd like to be a more spiritual person. Uh, they'd like to be an entrepreneur. They'd like to uh, move to a particular place. They hope to be able to retire uh, someday and to be able to live throughout their life a productive life. All of those are wonderful things. They're aspirational, and that, that's certainly important. And I do believe and subscribe to the fact that you need to have goals in all of the areas of your life, spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, relational, uh, financial. Uh, if you're in a particular industry, some goals that are related to that. But here is the thing that happens. How do you begin working on them, and what do you do first? Now, anytime we go back to goal-setting basics, we, we have to talk about having SMART goals. You've, you've heard this if you've ever read any book, any blog on goal setting, it'll talk about SMART, which is a, you know, an acrostic or an acronym for specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and with a, with a time boundary. So let's just do this briefly, and then we're going to talk about how to set your goals, how, what, are, what are the priorities, and how do you move forward. And, and what will be the impact of that? You see, when you identify a, a goal, and you can pick any area of your life that you're interest, uh, interested in, again, just as I did as a young person, you need to write it out. 
but we're also going to talk today about it's not just enough to write the specific goal down. You have to have a plan. How are you going to attain this goal? Is it possible? Now, I think you can dream wildly, you can plan boldly, you can have audacious goals. I would never ever try to rain on your parade or say no to your dreams. But somewhere along the line, you have to ask yourself, is this really attainable? Now, more is attainable than perhaps you believe right now, but uh, there is something, I think I've used the illustration, uh, you You've not seen what I look like visually, but I'm probably not going to be in the ballet. Uh, both age and body mass probably are working against me and a total lack of coordination. You, But though I've said the word attainable, never forget that they have to stretch you some. And to attain any goal it is going to force you and I to make some adjustments and changes. Is it something you feel good about? Are, are, you, are, you, are you proud about it? So let's go back. You, first of all, you have to be specific. What is the specific goal? Don't say, I want to lose weight. Give it a pound. Give it a date. I want to get out of debt, all right? By what time? How much debt do you have to pay off? And then we'll come back to it in a moment. You're going to have to develop a plan. Specific, just I want to be a nicer person is not specific enough. That means nothing. I want to be more loving toward my family. Well, let's define what loving is going to look like and what it's going to take to get you there. I want to begin investing and max out my retirement accounts. Well, you need to figure out what the max is at your age. Divide up by your pay periods, and you'll know, here's the goal of what I need to put away monthly, weekly, quarterly, however you're going to do it. It, it has to be specific. It can't be, uh, I want to lose weight. I want to get healthy. I want there to be world peace. Uh, I want to be a better employee. All Better is good but we don't know what that means and how you're going to attain it. So your goals have to have specificity. They have to be crystal clear and specific that if you tell me, even if I'm not in your industry, I have to be able to understand, all right, I understand that's what you're trying. I get it. It's specific. What What is your specific goal that you're you're going for? And then it has to be measurable. Can, can it be, can it be uh, measurable? In the specific, it's who, what, where, when, which, why. Um, when you have a specific goal, it means in your mind you have reasons why that's important. It's purposes, uh, how it's going to benefit you and others if you accomplish that goal. And then we get to measurable. You have to ask yourself a couple of questions when we get to measurable. And that is simply this. We're being specific and now we're being measurable. How will I know when the result has been achieved? If you don't know what the results are going to look like, feel like, and have some markers along the way, how will you ever know that you've attained your goal? You, you have to know what the result is going to be. How will I verify achievement and performance of this goal? I could tell you today on this podcast that I had a goal of whatever it might be and that I've reached it. Well, how am I going to verify that? It's a terrible thing to lie to someone else, but maybe the worst delusion is to lie to, to, to uh, yourself. It's horrible to lie to others. It's awful to lie to yourself. So you have to look at that goal and in a moment, as we talk about putting it together, how will I know I have achieved that goal? That's why they have to be specific and measurable. There has to be some way that we can absolutely, you can absolutely identify the achievement of that goal. You can't leave it to chance, and it can't just be sort of, kind of. It has to be specific. It has to be measurable. 
I kind of jumped the gun a few moments ago and went right into attainable. But when you write that goal and you write it out and you begin to do a plan, you will begin to see opportunities arise that will help you to accomplish this goal. Oftentimes, I am amazed that when I have set my mind on a particular goal, write it down, come up with a plan, I, I meet people that I didn't know before who are able to give me some insight and come along and assist me that before I set the goal, or even as I set the goal, I didn't know them. Opportunities will come to you that heretofore have not come simply because you're working in a direction and things will begin to come together to help you accomplish that goal. A lot of it comes from nothing more than you have developed a positive attitude toward working towards that attainable goal and it, you begin to develop uh, traits in your life and you begin to enhance your strengths and you do see it through. That's because though it's going to stretch me, though I'm going to need help, it is attainable. Realistic. A goal must represent something which you are both willing and able to work on. For instance, it's horrible for me to set goals for you because I have no control over what you're going to do and if you're going to implement and if you're going to follow through and if you're going to execute your plan. But I do have that control over myself. So uh, it has to be something that drives me. It has to be high, but yet realistic. And I'm the only person, you're the only person that can decide how high the goal you want has to be. And when you reach these goals, these little mile markers along the way, the substantial progress that you're going to make will continue to propel you forward. Now, it has to be time-bound. Early on, when I would write the goals down on a slip of paper, as I told you, and put it in a desk drawer and periodically look at it, I, I never put a time uh, table on it. Because by putting a time on it, it creates a sense of urgency. That's why I also like to, in my goals, have three-month sprints on a couple of them, where I really focus on moving things forward. And by putting a time on it that says, by the end of the third quarter, this is going to happen, it creates a sense of urgency. The problem for most of us is we we, do, we work better with a greater sense of urgency, knowing you have something that you need to accomplish within a certain period of time makes all of us much more accountable. Now, if you're a visual person, I would also say that a bullet journal might be the way you go. I've used them a few times. I'm not using one permanently, but the bullet journal helped me to see things visually. I was able to draw pictures. One of the things I'm doing now is I have broken my goals down into all areas of my life. The, the big goals that I have for a year, and for a year is 12 months into the future, not necessarily a calendar year, is I take, I've taken my health goal, my spiritual goal, my relational goal, my vocational goal, financial goals for the year, and I have reversed engineered them. Say I want to uh, get into this kind of health in the next year. I, I study researching as a part of my uh, goal setting. I've researched it for 60, 80 minutes. What does it take to get to this level of health? And then I reverse engineer. Here are the things I'm going to have to do daily, weekly, monthly, working my way back till today. And then I take 20 to 40 minutes every day and work on that the other way. I don't know where I heard it, but uh, some things that fell into place for me when I began to start reverse engineering. Start with the end in mind. Here's the goal. Here's the deadline. Here's what I'd like to happen. All right, I have X amount of days, X amount of weeks, X amount of months in order for that to happen. What does that look like going forward? And when I write out all of these goals for the various areas of my life, I then ask myself this question. What one goal am I seeking in these next few weeks and months that if it were accomplished, the other things on my list would be easier to accomplish? Then I know that's the one 
that I need to do something, at least one or two activities on every day to keep me moving forward. If it's truly something I have identified that the accomplishing of it will make other areas easy. Let me give you a hint of where many of you may need to be. Um, there are about three areas that really jump out. Uh, because I'm a person of faith, I think uh, if you need a spiritual goal, that will elevate every area of your life. If you are not exercising, if you're not eating right, if you need to get in better shape, I have discovered that when you really meet a health goal, it makes everything easier. Just think about it. If you feel better and you're healthier, it will be much easier to get all the other things done. If you are crippled by debt, maybe what you need to do, that one that will propel all of your other dreams and visions and goals forward, is to eliminate the debt, go on a goal sprint, make it, whether it's a year, six months, three months, whatever it needs to be, work on paying that debt down, and it will help you make it easier, actually, to accomplish some of your other goals. This will be continued. And I'm glad you're with me today. You've been listening to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom. Words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I hope this was like a vitamin or a supplement for your mind and heart today. And thank you for being with us. Again, I'm looking to come alongside and coach the next level leaders. You are stuck. You need to move ahead. You've always wanted to work with somebody. Let's see what the possibilities are. Go to drronblake.com forward slash call. Dr. Ron Blake forward slash call. You'll get on my calendar. And at a time that we agree to, I'll give you a call and we'll see what the possibilities are. Remember, my leadership friend, you are doing better than you think you are. You really are. And until next time, this is Dr. Ron saying, have a great and blessed day. <music>